Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, Monday morning's devotion and uh, great just to be with you. Thank you for following us in this devotional series. We're looking at the tests and we see them as they unfold through the scriptures. And we started in Genesis and so we're working our way through. We're now in Exodus chapter 19 and 20. This is uh, an incredibly dramatic scene. Moses has left Egypt walking through the wilderness has had some incredible experiences of God's provision and the lessons that they're learning and the tests that the nation of Israel are failing are all over the place. God sees how they continually just fail and fail and fail. So he does them a favor. He comes to Moses and he says to Moses, Moses, you and I need to meet. Get up on the top of this mountain. You'll see the fire will come down. The smoke will come down. And I will call you up the mountain and I will put this thing to rest and let you know exactly what my expectations of the people are. And Moses said, man, that'll be so useful. So Moses goes up the mountain when God calls him and God meets with Moses and he gives to him the basis of the law, which is the Ten Commandments. Now, the law was given for God for a whole bunch of good reasons, but basically it was given to them for two reasons. First of all, that they would know what pleases God, what displeases God, what God likes, what God dislikes. And secondly, the law was given to the children of Israel to protect them, to protect them primarily from themselves. Because if left to ourselves, we are prone to self-destruction. There's something inside of us that leans towards self-destruction. And so we need certain boundaries. We need certain guidelines. And any community that does not have that, it's not long before chaos breaks out and the nation implodes. That means it dies from within. And so the law was given. Now the law can be two things. It can either be a blessing or it could be a burden. Today I would look, like to look at it from the point of view of the law being a real blessing to the people. God gave it to them, Ten Commandments came, and uh, it showed to them that part of who God was. It showed to the people through the law the wonder of God's values, what He holds to be of high importance. It showed to them the power and the majesty of God, Jehovah. Now history has shown, just read the Old Testament, and you'll see how history has shown that obedience to the law of God always brings blessing. Have a look at the stories of the Old Testament. Read the book of Kings and Chronicles, and you'll begin to notice that there's a pattern there. Obedience to the law brought personal blessing. Obedience to the laws of God brought corporate blessing. It was just as obvious as that. But sadly, by human nature, people decided that they didn't want to do the law of God and they paid the price for it. We often talk about breaking the law. Let me tell you people, I don't think we're able to break the law because the law is unable to be broken. It is set in stone. It is as hard and as solid as a rock. The only thing that breaks when it comes to the law is you. You never break the law. It's established by God. But what you do do is you break yourself against the law the law is unshakable but you know what the motive for for obeying the law i guess is what it's all about some people will obey the law because of legalistic reasons they will talk about that tomorrow and that brings brings with it the burden of the law but the blessing of the laws of god in obedience to them simply because we love god let me tell you this people if you love god with all your heart soul mind and strength you will automatically be living out the laws. You won't have to take them apart one by one, one by one, and look at them individually. Because of your love for God and your motive for the law is love, you'll obey them beautifully, you'll obey them naturally, and it will be a resultant of blessing in your life. Now, I, I have a lean, leaning towards legalism. I kind of like knowing where I stand. But I've got to tell you, when we love God as we meant to love Him, the law becomes a natural outworking of your love for Him. God has given the laws not to hurt you. He's given you the laws not to confine you. He's given the laws to protect you and make you the best that you can be and a vessel fit and worthy to be used by Him. 
David wrote in the laws, if you read. No, it was actually not David. It was the psalmist that wrote. There were many psalmists who wrote Psalm 119. Let me read as I close just a few of these things to you. Psalm 119 verse 1, it says this. Blessed are those who way, whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. You see, there's the motive. They do nothing wrong. They walk in his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. Then I would not be put to shame. When I consider all your commands, I will praise you with an upright heart. As I learn your righteous laws, I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. People, this is serious stuff. This is good stuff. When we seek after God, we will automatically be living out His laws. We'll talk a bit more about this tomorrow. In the meanwhile, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.